Javante Tank Davis with the ultimate chess move on Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia. He waits till the day of their fight to officially announce his fight with Frank Martin, putting the cover art for um, him and Frank Martin on his Instagram page. The fight is not going to be in Houston as we thought and as it was rumored to happen. As Tank Davis saw himself, they moved the date to back to June the 15th. And they're going to be getting down and getting busy in the Madison Square Garden, Garden Arena in Las Vegas. They, they're taking their fight to Vegas. And it is confirmed um, that David Benavidez will be on the undercard. He's going to be the co-main event. So the card already going crazy. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video. Catch me live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. I'm also live every Sunday morning with the singing OG KQKC Boxing Network. Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. I know I'm going in and out. I'm driving right now. I'm about to be to a lit area, but I got to get y'all this content. So I know you can hear me, man. Smash the like button. But we got to go get this Rick Ross special, man, for this Devin Haney Ryan Garcia fight. Got to go get that wing stop, feel me? Got to go pick that up. So that's where I'm on the way to. But. This area up here gonna be more well lit, so y'all will be able to see me as I cook on this. So, this is a chess move by Tank Davis, Al Heyman, Premier Boxing Champions, to steal some shine and, and steal some news and steal some spotlight away from Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia. You know. And honestly, bro, I can just say it's part of the game. A lot of Devin Haney fans ain't gonna like this. They gonna call them petty. They're going to say that, um, you know, Tank Davis is, is clout chasing off a of Devin Haney name and all that shit. Um, I maintain two things. Number one, he cannot possibly clout chase Devin Haney because he got more clout than him. He can steal attention away from him. He can um, troll him, which I think this is not only a fight announcement but a troll move. But you can't clout chase a man. You got more clout than It just don't work. It just don't work that way. I can't clout chase him. Somebody with 200 subscribers and three people in their chat, bro. I can shit on them. I can talk bad about them. I can be negative towards them, but I can't clout chase them, bro. Same thing for Tank and Devin. That's point number one. Point number two, though, I would just say, you know, let's cut the crybaby shit out. Son, go on. Um, it's under my name. Go pick the food up. Huh? It's under my name. Just tell him my name. John? Yeah, just tell him my name. And it's already paid for just gotta pick it up. So, um, the second thing about this this announcement, or the second thing about this for people that want to cry about how Tank Davis is is taking attention away from Devin Haney and, and, and Ryan Garcia's fight tonight, um, which is true because I'm doing this video, so that shit's working, right? Um, the second thing though is, bro, this is what they do. If you ain't crying when Devin Haney doing it, you can't cry in this instance. Devin Haney doing uh, Tank Davis and, and Ryan Garcia fight week, what'd he do? He had his, his, his media workout in the same city, doing the same time to try to take some shine away from Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia when he was trying to get ready for his fight against Vasily Lomachenko. The other thing, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, when Tank Davis was about to fight Hector Luis Garcia, what Devin Haney do? Release spawn footage the week before Hector Garcia fight um, to let people know that, hey, man, this dude ain't shit tank fighting. He garbage. So he did it to him. And, you know, they th this is what boxing do. They always bounce big news around when it's a big fight week. For instance, Terrence Crawford and um, Israel Majima, what they do? They, now, they fight ain't until August, bro. Tank, elite, tank fighting in June. Terrence Crawford fighting ain't until August, bro. And they announced that shit. Just yesterday. You know, during these big fight weeks, news come out. And it's part of that shit. If your fight big enough, it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna matter. Because people are already beating about their tickets. Pay-per-views are already purchased. Food are already ordered. You know what I'm talking about? Shit are already shaking. Stuff are already moving. So, it ain't gonna matter. But for Tank Davis... It's bigger than just Terrence Crawford doing it yesterday. For for Tank Davis, it's bigger than just, um, you know, Turkey Ali Ashik saying that he working with Al Heyman and shit. 
um, yesterday or earlier today or whatever. Like, it's bigger than that because, you know, there's a huge rivalry there between these three. Ain't really no rivalry between Tank Davis and Ryan Garcia. But Ryan Garcia is a huge Tank Davis hater, bro. He a huge Tank Davis hater. Like, the man made him quit in the ring, and Ryan Garcia is still making excuses, bro. And that's just a fact of the matter. He's still making excuses for why Tank put his ass to sleep, fam. And that's just God's honest truth. And then when you, um, when you Devin Haney, we know him and Tank rivalry. We know what that is, bro. Like I've been said, that's some work to me that need to be got no matter what. I don't give a damn if Devin loses this fight or not. I still want to see Tank Davis, Ryan Garcia. I mean, Tank Davis, Devin Haney, bro. I don't give a damn if Devin lose to Ryan. Now, y'all, if you're a channel member, you know. You know who I picked. I ain't going to give it away on here. But win, lose, or draw, I still want to see Tank Davis and Devin Haney lock it up. You know what I'm saying? Lock horns and get that shit popping in the ring. Um, but it's extra for Tank. You know this is a troll move. This is some old strategic, you know what I'm saying, battle rap. Let me let me poke at you. Let me troll you. I don't just want to beat you in the ring. I want to beat you in every aspect, and I want to take some light off your shit because Tank know when he drops some shit, it's going to be news. It's going to be a bomb. And he did that shit on purpose, bro. Because here's the thing. They didn't just find out they were fighting on June 15th. They didn't just find out they were fighting in Vegas. They didn't just find out that Dave Benavidez on the card. They've been had this shit done. So they purposefully waited till the day of Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia's fight, bro. They being petty. Petty as shit. And I don't mind it at all. And real talk, as a Tank fan, I don't mind when Devin and them get petty. We just can't be no on no crybaby shit. You know what I mean? Because Devin Haney and Bill Haney get real petty when it comes to Tank Davis, bro. And it's a petty move. It definitely took some shine away from the fight tonight. The biggest story going into this fight is Ryan Garcia missing weight. Um, I already dropped my video on that. I hope it don't have no outcome on the fight. I'm really rooting for Devin in this fight because what Ryan Garcia did is just absolutely positively horrible, bro. It's horrible. But for those of y'all that didn't know, for those of y'all that was doubting, still holding out, hope that you can hate on Tank Davis' next fight as a flat-footed Mexican or a flat-footed fighter in general, um, you got to give it up because he's fighting a dangerous game, athletic, explosive opponent in Frank Martin. And I can't see, I can't wait to see how he handles this challenge, man. Cause make no mistake about it, Frank Martin is a challenge, bro. And you can't pick Frank Martin to beat Tank Davis and then at the same time act like Tank Davis ain't fighting nobody. Shit don't work that way, man. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Smash the like, sub to the channel. I'll see y'all soon. Peace out.